weird furniture from the 90s. Yeah, the work on show here, 2000, deals with the question of German unification and also this idea of the millennium and what expectations and when it was still in the future and now it's vintage future or um, like maybe also a future that never really came. Here's, here you see the carpet, how it's shaped like Germany, like the divided Germany. So we are now in the western part of eastern Germany, the former GDR, and in the middle is this 2000 space, the space in between where I take time apart and also geographies apart and people can walk through. Yeah, I think I like working with furniture because it's something that everybody has. So it's not so abstract and also something that everyone can relate to. Immediately there's a conversation and through speaking about design, we get into more complicated topics like politics and history and personal memory. I went through the like online second-hand uh, places and looking, okay, what is in the area available? What are the things that people throw away? How can they tell a story? They're like a document, but also become alive like, and have a life of their own. It starts to, to live the moment the first visitors see it, how they see the work, how they react to it, what how they interpret it also maybe differently than in another context, because it has a lot of codes in it that speak about German history. But if you don't know these codes, you start to decoding them in a different way with your own memories. And I feel like all the, all the previous owners are also now traveling with the works. Yeah, I feel the intensity of biographies but also of history in the space a lot.